So guys, let me introduce you to switched mode power supply. The switched mode power supply has two parts. There's this line here, which is separating the high power side from the lower power side because here there is 300 volts DC. 300 volts DC, here there is 12, 5 or 24 volts. So 300 volts and 24 volts can cause hacking if not well separated. The light from supply is fed to the SMPS power supply through this resistor which is a current spike suppression resistor. Then we have these four diodes. These four diodes form a bridge rectifier. They are silicon diodes with high power rating which has high avalanche breakdown which are used to rectify the AC input into DC. After rectification, if it is 220 volt supply, VRMS, it is rectified to the peak voltage of that RMS supply, which is given by root 2 times the supply, which will give you 300 volts. That 300 volts is fed to this capacitor. This is a reservoir capacitor, which we also call smoothing capacitor or a filter capacitor. The capacitor is a 400 volts rating, 8 microfarad. There is this resistor here, which is connected in series with this capacitor, and it is used to discharge the capacitor. When the power is switched off, this resistor is used to discharge this capacitor or use the power stored in this capacitor. This capacitor here and these resistors are connected to form a filter circuit, which is used to filter the 300 volts from the capacitor. There's this diode and this diode. They are used to suppress back EMF to the transformer. There's also this. This is a high frequency switching device. It has a frequency of 1.2 kilohertz. It switches itself on and off at a frequency of 1.2 kilohertz. So it converts the 300 volts into a square wave, which is fed to this transformer. So this square wave is fed to this transformer via this current suppression diodes which suppress back EMF. This transformer consists of primary and secondary. The primary has 157 tons while the secondary has 14 tons. So it is a step down transformer. It steps down the square wave supplied by this switching MOSFET which is fed to the now low voltage side. This is now the low voltage side. It's either 12 volts, 5 volts or 24 volts. This output is fed to this scotch diode. This is scotch diode. Scotch diode consists of a metal side and a N side. The scotch diode is very efficient. It has a forward current conduction of 0.2 amperes. It can conduct current at very low voltages. So it is a special diode which is used to rectify the output of this transformer. It is used to rectify the output of this transformer. It is used here because it has very little losses, so it can rectify the wave without much losses. This capacitor here, it is used to filter the output of this scratch diode. If it is 5 volts, 12 or 24 volts, it is used to filter the output and present it to the output terminals. There is these two resistors here. These resistors are connected to form a voltage divider which is used to feed a fraction of the output to the switching MOSFET. So this is like a feedback, what we call a feedback circuit, where this voltage divider made by these two resistors are connected through this Zener diode to the optocoupler. The Zener diode is a special type of diode, which when it reverse bias does not conduct current until Zener breakdown voltage is reached. I am saying that when a Zener diode is reverse biased, it does not conduct current until you supply a voltage which is equivalent or more than the voltage rating of that uh, diode. This optocoupler consists of two things. The optocoupler is designed with a diode. In this side there is a diode, the other side there is a phototransistor. When this diode light, it shines, it provides light which is used to open the transistor. The level of conduction of the transistor, whether high or low, is controlled by the, by the light of the diode here. So the output through the optocoupler is fed to the switching MOSFET, which is used to regulate the frequency of the MOSFET to the transformer, hence controlling the output and making the output to be stable through the feedback loop. The optocoupler 
Sub is a power isolation.